AMTV, another man's treasure videos. Today, tonight, we're doing a, a, a 18 roll quarter hunt and whatever the hell this is. I don't know what this is. Hey, will you take this? Yeah, sure. I guess. Give it to me. So we got 19 rolls total. I'm going to count that. See what's in there. I've got some stuff hiding under here. <laughs> I'm not going to show you what that is yet. Awesome videos coming up. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in the pipe ready to go. I uh, just have not released it yet. I got a whole bunch of different videos to film. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of different videos to edit and the whole nine yards. But right now, we really want to set this up real quick. I'm going to stop what I'm doing. I've been cutting grass all day and we are going to go hunt these 19 rolls of quarters. So I'll bring you guys in when I have a find. Hopefully, that's right here. Uh, I do have two rolls of the Bessie Coleman's in here. I believe it's this one and this one. Uh, one one's down there. But uh, I'm probably going to hunt those two and see if I can't find any arrows on them. Let's go do that. All right, been through a few rolls here. Got some finds. I pulled this bat just because it's in good condition, nothing crazy. It's just a nice D. Same thing with this Iowa. Possible future albums, which I need to get on so I can get some of that moving. Got some low mints here. We got a pair of Ds. Great Smoky Mountains. Both of these are in really good condition. I pulled those. Here's another one. And we got Yosemite. 2010. This is like from three or four rolls, guys. Grand Canyon. 2010. None of these are in real bad condition either. And I thought this was interesting. It's probably the best... Um, Bicentennial quarter I've ever pulled. I don't know. I could be wrong But it's in damn fine condition Really shiny. I like it Let's get back at it All right, well, this is a bummer. Um, I've got several rolls like this. I'm looking at one two more over there at least um, And I knew they were coming I've got a whole bunch of nickels just like this they look like they came out of like a uh i don't want to say wishing well but maybe like a car detailing place out of the vacuum or something somebody's been scavenging these things out of there scavenging however you say that word and that uh, looks like that's what where these come from uh, the nickels are so disgusting that the bag that i used to transport my coins was absolutely full of sand so those are going to get washed uh, before I hunt them because you cannot even see dates or anything and these are not looking too much better they actually do look a little bit better actually they're not so dirty they're not filthy but uh, this is fun so hopefully we can find some silver if I find a W in here I'm gonna cry uh, and then I'm gonna make a post about it and say that there's only one nine 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 left <sighs> tragic yeah that's always fun. Let's see if this roll adds up. Nope. 24 cents in the hole. Awesome. So fun. Thank you. All right, we got 387,000 rolls left. I found this. It's got a nice uh, zit die chip. I'll show you guys that later under the scope if you stick around to the end. Busted Perry's victory. I just pulled it aside to show it. Just tragic. That's going over there. Another nice bicentennial. Not as nice as the last one. But still nice. Not bad. We got two slight jewel. Drooling George. Extra claw. And again, I'll show you guys these later under the scope. If you stick around, I'll show you, uh, especially that uh, zit. Put that one to the side. All right, well, I really wish I would have uh, filmed this, but I just popped a customer wrap roll. And guys, the very end coin, I looked at it. Camera's not doing it justice. But this coin catches the light just so. And I knew... That there was something different about this coin. And we have a W. With a privy. We are farm. 
awesome <laughs> yes finally these are getting harder and harder to find this one is a little busted i haven't really looked at it with my naked eye yet because i picked up the camera immediately as soon as i put down that last uh shot where i was filming uh the other finds that i had as soon as i popped this roll i picked the camera right back up i really need to set up to start filming uh popping the rolls again awesome awesome let's get back at it all right we've got some more rolls a few more finds slight drooling george can't see it might show you later might not gray smoky mountains another one i think that's the third d that i've pulled samoa 09 decent condition we got this extra cactus but it is busted i'll probably keep that and throw it in if somebody buys one or something from me i'll throw this one in there with them something like that gettysburg you know what i'll probably keep this one for my kids to teach them about it i've got a bunch of stuff for my kids oh my gosh i'm shaking i got a bunch of stuff set aside for my kids to mess with um just things that i can't use old coin flips and stuff my kids are young so um, they can mess with their staplers and stuff like that. I might keep this aside for them to be able to uh, show them that under the scope and let them flip it up, one of them. Got a couple of extra claws you can't see. in a Gettysburg. I always like seeing a Gettysburg. I'm, uh, I'm not going to say I'm a huge fan of the Civil War, but I think it was a pretty cool uh, period in history. So I'm always glad to see a Gettysburg. And we got one kind of special thing here. I'm not going to be able to show it to you yet actually you can damn near almost see it if you look at the designer's initials that fg on this bessie coleman it is doubled to hell oh man it's doubled it is way off so i'm looking forward to showing you guys that on the wrap up under the scope sorry i'm shaking so much let's get back at it all right guys that's it for the box or not the box the hunt all rolls complete last couple of finds we've got a u.s virgin islands you know what this has been a great hunt uh, we got that w got a cool a uh, couple of cool errors we have another extra claw here not too excited about that one yellowstone uh 2010 in really good condition compared to how i usually find them another sand dunes that's find at least 25 of those every time we hunt but we pull them i don't know why i'm calling me we and we got a decent sized crown die chip here larger than usual i would say I'll show you guys that one under the scope. Let me organize this stuff to where it makes sense. Um, I have been taking little breaks here and there, so it's kind of getting confusing, and I do have some checkers over there I have to check that are falling all over the place, um, doing too many things at once. So I'm going to look at these real fast and then organize these better and come back with a wrap-up and show you guys some stuff uh, under the scope here. I'll be right back in a second. Forgot to throw this guy in there. 09 Guam. Gone. Just gone. All right, we're here with a wrap up. Starting off here, we got a bunch of uh, bicentennials. I think that's eight, if I remember how to count correctly. A bunch of those here. One in particular was the star of that show. It's pretty nice. I keep these I still still keep these for a lot of people keep those uh, apparently there's some varieties and errors to look for on them uh, this next row here I just kept because they were in really good condition possible future album fillers a lot of them are doubles I know I already have a lot of these camera doesn't do them justice they're awesome looking this whole row is drooling George but they're all very slight so nothing crazy there this next row same thing different error it's all extra claw but they're very slight nothing crazy uh, and then we got all these low mints gettysburg we've got several great smoky mountains sand dunes which i'm probably getting ready to stop pull lo pulling those i got a lot of them uh, virgin islands 09 another 09 samoa yellowstone i love that coin it's one of my favorites there. This one's cool too, Yosemite. 
and then the Grand Canyon. We got uh, we got this busted extra cactus. You can see it on camera. You can also see the damage on it, but I just can't throw this one back away. It's it's an error. And the star of the show we got us a West Point Weir Farm. I'll take that all day, any day. Plus, we've got some really good errors going on over there, right there, that I'm going to show you on the scope real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so here goes the errors. This is the best of the ones I've found. You can see right here, got the crown die chip. I still have yet to find the big one, the big blob that goes across the top, uh, the whole top of the hat here. Um, but this is one of the better ones that I found, one of the larger ones that I found. So, of course, I pulled that one. This one was neat. I, I think I have one or two or three of these or something, but none this big. And this is on a 2022. What is it? Man killer. I set the towel up so I didn't have to move those around. But there you go. Die chip on the nose. On Washington's nose. Probably get a uh, get a little bit a little bit of money for that on eBay. Hopefully, I haven't got into that yet, but I'm starting to move towards there and been messing around with it. So I need uh, I need to start selling some of these errors and get some uh, some money out of this stuff here for all this time that I'm spending doing this. This one's really cool. If I can get it queued up. Now, if you look at the designer initials on this. It's not great. I might have to put a picture in here. I think I have a better picture. But if you look at the initials, you can see a whole extra F. If I can get it to... Oh, I'm hitting the camera button. I turned the lights off, so now I can't see. Oh, here we go. That's not working either. There we go. Getting a little closer there. So if you guys look there, you can see a whole extra F on the designer initials right here. And I looked that up on eBay and there's several different kind of variations of this. And this was the most extreme one I saw. Now that thing catches light and everything. That's raised. Uh, so that's some severe, I guess, machine doubling there. The ones I'm seeing selling on eBay are selling uh, anywhere from 25, 30 bucks in that range. So I was happy to find not only one of those, but there's another one here. It's not as uh, it's not as defined, but just an example. You can see it's doubled a little bit. The F and the C. Try to get it to where it'll stop moving around. And you kind of got the same thing going on here. You can clearly, obviously, tell that's what that is on the back side of the F and the C. So that's probably a couple bucks there at least. So I'll take that too. All day long. Glad to have them. But with that West Point Mint, that really made the hunt all worthwhile. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you want to see me pull more stuff like this out of rolls in the future, subscribe. And if you like my videos, hit that like button. I appreciate you guys for watching. See you on the next quarter hunt. AMTB out.